What's good, Guardians? This is your boy, Killer Afghan, back with another Destiny 2 video. Before we jump right into today's topic, please remember, if you enjoy the video, click that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to leave some comments, because I'm always interested in how I can improve the channel. And if you want to stay ahead of the Killer Afghan content, please subscribe below. It might be as simple as a click for you, but it really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, Guardians, today we're going to talk about the Duskrock Blues. It's a legendary kinetic shotgun that is awesome and just a beast in PvP. You don't have to take my word for it, though. If you Google it, you'll find tons of streamers and commentators that will tell you the same thing. Or you could jump into a quick play match, and you'll meet plenty of Guardians on the opposing team that will be happy to introduce you to this fantastic weapon. Rather than doing an in-depth review of the weapon, today we're going to focus on how can you farm it and get the best possible god roll of this beast. Before we get into the farming method, let's talk a little bit about the weapon and how you can identify what might be a god roll for this weapon. Again, this is just my opinion. Yours may differ, and based on your gameplay, you might want to go after different perks. With that being said, it is a precision frame shotgun. That means the weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. In addition to that, the weapon stats include 70 for impact, 68 for range, 50 for stability, 40 for handling, 46 for reload speed. The hidden stats include 75 for aim resist, 64 for recoil direction, 38 for weapon size, and 12 for zoom. It is 55 rounds per minute with a magazine size of 5. Now while you're looking for a god roll of this shotgun, you're going to notice there's four columns in a perk tree. And for column 1, you're going to want rifle, barrel, or full choke. For column 2, you're going to want accurized rounds. For column 3, slide shot or moving target. And for column 4, rampage or snapshot sights. And for the masterwork roll, I'd go with 10 for range. And you can see the theme here, right? Add as much range to the shotgun as possible. Based on my knowledge, there's two areas that you can go to to farm for this shotgun. Both of them are lost sectors. One is on Earth, the other one on Mars. The one we're going to discuss today in this video is the one on Mars. When you head to Mars, you're going to look for the Brytek landing zone, which is a landing zone located in the north of the map. To the northwest of that, you're going to find the core terminus lost sector. Let's head there. Once you land on Mars, just jump on your Sparrow and head northwest. Some of you are going to notice that in the background I'm killing the ads. And before you post some hateful comments below saying, Killa, you blueberry, you can just zoom right past the ads and go straight to the boss. I know that. I'm doing this primarily so I can farm for heavy and special ammo and have my tether ready because all that is going to help me take down the boss much easier. Also, I only did that in my first run. Once I have my tether with Orpheus rig, I basically have my super every additional run after that. So with that being said, you don't have to kill the ads. If you want to go in there and just John Rambo the boss, have at it. For me, it made my runs much quicker. I averaged about a minute and a half runs every time I went after the boss. And you'll see that in the video below, the results of how I killed the boss and how many drops I got. So when it's all said and done, it's pretty simple. You're going to head to the end of the Lost Sector. You're going to look for Wanted, Chris, Champion of Zol. That's the Lost Sector boss. And you're going to take him down as quick as you possibly can. Supers are great. Powerful weapons, great. And if you have the Ikelo shotgun, even better. Melt the boss. As soon as the boss dies, you can wipe yourself and rinse and repeat. In the background video, I'm going to show you 31 runs and the drops I got during those 31 runs. All in all, I got three drops, and you can see the rolls at the end of the video. Well, fellow guardians, that's it for the guide. I hope you enjoyed it, and I wish you the best of luck as you farm the Dust Rock Blue Shotgun. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button below if you liked the video, leave some comments, and even better yet, subscribe to the channel and support. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Let's <laughs> go. 